This was the shocking moment caught on camera. Video obtained by our NBC affiliate CARE 11 shows David Matori trimming a tree outside his Minneapolis home Wednesday when, according to court documents, a bullet was fired from his neighbor's upstairs window. The bullet like went down um, through my neck and then all the way back to my spine. Matori so right told now, NBC affiliate CARE 11 he's also recovering from broken ribs and a concussion. Adding, the last 11 months since he and his wife moved in, they've been living a nightmare next door to John Shawshack. Court documents show the victim called police 19 times prior to the shooting for incidents including harassment, hate speech, and verbal threats. It also says Shawshack suffers from mental illness. Shawshack has been charged with attempted murder, but he is not in jail. Police allowing him to stay in his home because they say he's a threat to himself and others. The likelihood of an armed, violent confrontation where we may have to use deadly force with the suspect. In the hey, Shalom, Brother Ara coming to you with another video. Want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, bishops, and elders, great millstone, for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible, and who rule well. And Shalom to all you Akiam and you Akwa, those of the hopeful elect that are seeking for salvation. You see here, St. Matthew 24 and 12 clearly describes the time that we're living in. It reads, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. What we just saw in the video clip is an example of that. Many examples of hatred shown towards one another, which I believe the Edomite that actually shot the, the Israelite, the Jake, um, you know, uh, the, the neighbor that shot him is an Edomite. But, you know, just based off of the report. But the people are showing their hatred towards one another because we are living in a society ran by the wicked. And the wicked promotes, influences, pushes out the vibration of sin, you know, iniquity, sin upon sin. You know, this is a very satanic, uh, society Now we're in the fourth quarter of every year And you notice around October As soon as October 1st hits There's more accidents There's more deletions There's more confusion Right around the town where all They pump out all these High uh, satanic heathen customs One of them being Halloween St. Matthew 24 and 12 says And because iniquity shall abound Alright sin upon sin increases the love of many shall wax cold. So to see your neighbor out, you know, maintaining his lawn, not bothering anyone, yet you see opportunity to shoot him. This goes to show you how cold these people are. Right. And a lot of that is happening, you know, across America. And I'm speaking about America specifically because it's Babylon the Great. Right. Where all the, the major portion of influence of wickedness is being pushed out so as you see here saint matthew 24 and 12 says sin will be rampant everywhere and the love of many will grow cold people uh using examples of women having um deleting their babies not having any care towards you know their their uh bosom the relationships between you know man and woman have grown cold Deleting each other over arguments and disagreements. So we're clearly living in a uh, society ran by the wicked. Let me put this on. Do not disturb. Ran by the wicked. And when the wicked rules, you best believe sin and iniquity is going to increase. Violence is going to increase as a result. Proverbs 29 and 2 says, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Now, if the righteous were in authority, None of this shit would be happening. You wouldn't have any heathen customs or idol worshiping. You wouldn't have moles walking around. You wouldn't have cross dressers. You wouldn't have women talking shit, rolling their necks, twerking out in the streets, half uh, showing their asses, butt ass naked. These things wouldn't be happening. Baby deletions wouldn't be happening. And thus the people would rejoice. The people would enjoy clean water, real food, no chemtrails in the air. People wouldn't be stressed the hell out. 
right? It says, but when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. So now we're, we're seeing the result of a wicked kingdom. What happens when the wicked rules, which the wicked are the Edomites pursuant to Malachi 1 and 4. That's their AKA, all right? Also known as name. So they're ruling and people are mourning and you mourn because there's a result from death. And these people, whether they're experiencing death around them, right? They're overwhelmed, okay? Catching hell on every side because the wicked is bearing rule. Second Timothy three and one. It says, this know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. We're living in dangerous times, hazardous, risky times, because we are at the end of a wicked rulership. Now, we're at the end of a wicked rulership. But as we have made it to this end, the tail end. In iniquity continues to climb and the Lord is responding to it by bringing judgment. Now, if you notice in the video, they said that they did not arrest this man. The neighbor that shot his neighbor was not arrested. And this is a, a growing trend across America. You know, they're not locking people up for certain crimes like reckless driving. True story. Something recently happened to a loved one of mine's. OK. And in my, you know, amongst my family. Uh, reckless driving. They didn't arrest the man. OK, but that would that would have been the case five, ten years ago. But now they're starting to uh, draw back, you know, on arresting people for certain crimes. So what does that mean for perilous times? Perilous times are going to increase. So reading on here, Second Timothy three and one, I'll read in the NLT. It says you should know this, Timothy. That in the last days, there will be very difficult times going back to the KJV for men shall be lovers of their own selves. All right. As a matter of fact, I'll read that in the NLT for people will love only themselves and their money. Right. Uh, what's the word that they use in the society? Esau uses narcissist. OK. And, and they're they love their money. They worship their their uh, themselves, their money, their possessions. It says they will boast, be boastful and proud, scoffing at the most high Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, scoffing at his prophets, talking shit, disobedient to their parents, their earthly parents and their spiritual parents. OK, it says and ungrateful, always ungrateful, not content with the things the Lord blessed them with. They will consider nothing sacred. Mm. Verse three says they will be unloving and unforgiving it says they will slander slander others and have no self-control this is allowed in a wicked society but as a result of that for every action there's a reaction there's going to be great violence in the streets and that's what we're seeing it says they will be cruel and hate what is good they will be cruel uh, uh vicious OK, uh, code and hate was good, meaning hate was righteous. Those of us that are the hopeful elect, they got a problem with us not eating pork. Just as simple as not eating pork or shrimp, crab, you know, smacking their teeth. I had a family member smack their teeth at me because I didn't want to order anything on the menu because all of it was abominable food. They hate, you know, righteousness. They hate um, him that rebuke him in the gate, you know? So yeah, I just want to do a lesson just going into the times we're in, you know, iniquity has a bound. It continues to grow as a result. Violence is going to increase and they're drawing back on enforcing these, these, uh, laws because Esau, the elites want a, uh, order ab KO so they can bring in their new world order agenda. So Lord, when you edified all praises to Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Shalom.